Yo guys, it's uh, Descenders here, and uh, I'm doing an uh, audio synced screen pump uh, today. And uh, here is a preview of what it looked like. Um, by the way, if anybody wants color correction, I will be releasing a color correction pack of 25 color corrections when I hit 100 subs. So subscribe if you want this, basically. And here's what it looks like. <laughs> This isn't the best song for it, so I mean, sometimes it's got a couple stutters in it, as you can see, like, right, 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 kind of there, it, it does it a little bit when it, it really, like, shouldn't, I guess you could say, and this is, um, how you want to start it off, you want to start off with your clip and your song, uh, line it up where you want it, so, I mean, the sync is around here, I know that. I'm gonna bring the shot. Let's listen to that. Okay, that's synced. Um, and you're going to highlight the part that you want uh, to, you know, screen pump. So I'm gonna highlight after the shot, and you're gonna right-click your. Oh no, your first. You're gonna um, click solo. This little button right here. It makes it so that it won't pick up this layer. You're going to right click keyframe assistant, convert audio to keyframes. Now that you've done that, you want to go down to audio, go to audio amplitude, click this little down arrow, click another little down arrow, delete the left channel, delete the right channel. I want to also add this is just like Baker's Tut, but it's hit to his audio sync flashing, but it's a little different and, um, some people don't really know how to associate it with other types of effects like screen pumps or twixter and this is kind of like a little tutorial on added onto that so um... you're gonna go to graph editor and the common high is like forty ish and i'd say the common low is twenty so you're gonna go to this and you're gonna alt click the stopwatch and in this, you're going to write linear, open parenthesis, value, comma, x, comma, y, comma, 0, comma, 100. Now, this x and y, the x is where you put the low, which is 20. The y is where you put the high, which is 40. And this is where you want your percent of the screen pump, or whatever effect you're using. So, I'm going to put the, reg the 20 at 100, and then the high at 110. I don't recommend going much higher because then it looks very um, weird. Uh, keep change to yeah, let's change it. Oh, I hope that recording's still working. Take a quick second. Sorry for this. This happens sometimes. And my computer doesn't have enough RAM to run. What's going on? Come on, don't make me start this over again. I'm gonna give it like 30 seconds. No clue what's going on. There it goes. Alright, cool. Alright. So. Go to. If you typed that in, now you're gonna. Open this. Uncheck solo. Go to scale. Click the keyframe button. Then alt click it. And drag this up to the slider. And now, as you can see, you got your screen pumps. I'm going to RAM preview it really fast, just to see if... I'm going to have to put it in 29 frames. Per s I might be able to do it in 59. It all depends on how much RAM my computer is going to be using. See, it renders quick. It's just uh, playing back in 59 frames per second while recording. It uh, sometimes has a little bit of trouble. Um, going through and processing it. I only have 4 gigs of RAM, so 
It's not like I have the best computer, but I have a pretty good one. It gets the job done. Let that complete. And you see there's a couple stutters. You want to pick a song that's got like a good bass and a clap. Like, and I don't do the bass treble thing in this video because I don't think it works very well. Because then you just get a lot of stuttering. Like a lot more than this. So you want to pick a song with a distinct beat. And there you have it. And uh, don't forget to uncheck solo and uh, get rid of this graph thing. And uh, that's about it, guys. Uh, leave a like if you want more tutorials and stuff like that. And I'll be sure to, you know, make some tutorials maybe on how to render in After Effects. And a couple simple tutorials for people just getting started. See you guys later.